guys, so in this video, I wanted to bring to you guys something I get a lot of questions about, which is what do you normally eat in a day? Well, I'll tell you what, for this first week, I have to say that my whole what I ate in a day or what I ate in a week routine has been pretty unremarkable, and here's why. Because I'm doing one meal a day, guys. There were about two or three days within this last seven days where I was doing a hard fast, meaning all I had was tea and water. And then there were the days where I had the green chili and chipotle chicken. I had that about two times, had leftovers. And then I just had a taco salad, which was some leftovers. Then I picked up something from Whole food so let's go ahead and check out what I ate and then we'll come back after that all right so I wanted to take a little short video and show you guys what I'm eating today uh, right here I have just honestly I don't even really know I didn't measure this or anything this is just some leftovers that I made in that other video um I just have some of the chicken breast and so not chicken breast chicken thighs and I added two tablespoons of that ranch dressing to the cauliflower just to give it a little bit more flavor and then here i just have a simple bowl of kale and on that i have for um half a asian ginger dressing now if you guys have ever been to like a hibachi restaurant that's the idea behind um what i was thinking when i wanted to make this so i kind of found a copycat recipe but i tweaked it to make it more keto so i used caramel kitchen ketchup that's unsweetened ketchup and it's still really good and then i also used swerve as a sweetener for this dressing so I'm gonna feature that in another video I actually just have a full mason jar of it but I'm definitely gonna make it again because it's delicious I know you guys will definitely love that and it makes that kale if you don't really like kale this is a really good dressing it's very tasty so you might be able to get it down a little bit easier and then right here I have my electrolyte powder drink the keto 1000 all I did in this right here to get it that green color was added a quarter teaspoon of matcha powder and then I added a couple slices of lime squeeze some of the lime juice in there and then just drop the lime right in there to give it a little bit more flavor so that's it for today i'm not exactly sure honestly what the macros is going to be for this but it can't be anything much like i said it was just basically leftovers and then kale with a sugar-free dressing so that's it and i'll catch up with you guys in the next video Hey everybody, so here I have, today is actually day four. Here I have, I actually got this at Whole Foods. We just came back from Whole Foods. I actually did not eat this whole can. My kids ate that. They love sardines. And then I'm gonna have a scoop of the Keto 1000 electrolyte powder. And then I just have here some chicken thighs that I got at Whole Foods and some kale. This was the paleo chicken thighs and paleo kale. So if they both also work for the keto diet too. I'm gonna put this on my chicken right here. Cindy's Kitchen Asiago and cracked peppercorn. So I'm just gonna pour a couple tablespoons of this Cindy's Kitchen dressing onto that chicken and um, that'll be it for today guys so like I said I'm pretty sure it's gonna fill me up quite a bit so for the most part I'm pretty filled up for right now I'm not sure what this tracks macro wise I'm actually not watching that closely I'm really just at this point just listening to my body and doing fasting for the majority of my day so I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow but this is it you saw what I started with and I ate one half side of that and a little bit from there but mostly just ate half of the chicken and half of the kale all right talk to you guys later hey y'all so here are my kids low carb taco salads that we are having for dinner tonight um this is something i'm trying to slim them down too and you know in addition to trying to slim myself down but they don't quite know it yet because this stuff is still really good so have one for everybody here if you guys missed that taco salad i made a video um detailing how to make your own homemade taco seasoning and how to make a homemade keto taco salad but yeah this is so good guys so good with food like this you cannot miss fast food that taco salad up at wendy's ain't got nothing on this all right catch y'all later look at that mm -hmm. all right y'all catch y'all later hey guys so here's my meal for today as you can see right here i have some taco salad i did only one tablespoon of the salsa since this is still quote like the detox week or whatnot i'm trying to get as minimal sugar as possible but i still wanted some salsa so you know i'm gonna go ahead and have a little bit and just a few roma tomatoes on this taco salad but a lot of um, romaine on there also but right here i have some of the leftover stuff that i got from whole foods the other day that's just some taco meat in there that my husband dumped all the food in one 
one container um so that's why it's all mixed in but yep i got some these are just leftovers that he had from earlier um that he made for the kids so they had turkey bacon and eggs for breakfast so i have just a, i had already ate some of this piece i had two slices of turkey bacon and this may have been roughly about two scrambled eggs with cheese that was left over. And then I have here the chicken thighs that I got from Whole Foods the other day, as well as a, about a tablespoon of the Cindy's Kitchen Asiago and cracked peppercorn dressing, which I love. And then here I have my electrolyte powder right here, the Keto 1000 which I'll also post a link in the description box for you guys if you are interested in purchasing this. It's really good. I actually just added some um, lemons and limes to this. I just went ahead and squeezed the lemon juice and the lime juice in there and made it just so, you know, just to zhuzh it up just a little bit. It's still pretty tasty on its own, but this just gave it that little bit of extra. So yep, guys, that's it for this week. So we'll catch up next week. I have a few other different things on the menu for next week. So yeah, we'll catch up then. All right, so I just wanted to come back and show you guys real quick. I thought I was gonna eat all that food y'all after i eat that salad i am stuffed to my limit i can't do it um i ate a little bit of that bacon that last little piece and i ate that um those two little small pieces of chicken and i did eat the dressing and i ate some of that kale i didn't touch the eggs beyond i've been munching on the eggs while i was preparing my salad <clears throat> but I killed that salad and I drank all my electrolyte powder. So I'm stuffed, guys. This is how I do my one meal a day. By the time I'm usually finished with this meal, I don't feel weighed down or anything. I don't feel tired like can sometimes happen after you eat a more carb heavy meal. But I'm done, guys. Stuffed. So this is how I do my one meal a day. We're going to stay encouraged going into the next week. And I will show you guys some of the foods I eat next week. But this is roughly it. My food, my meals are usually really simple. It doesn't take a whole lot of preparation or a whole lot of anything just to whip stuff like this up. So, yep. We'll catch up in the next video. Alrighty. All right, so there you guys have it. That's what I had this week, guys. Like I said, I really just do what's the simplest thing. And I encourage you to do that too. Get yourself a, ro a regular meal rotation schedule of certain things that you like and just roll with that. Things don't have to be complicated. We don't have to be searching for recipes all the time and constantly thinking about what to do next. But like I said in my other video, if you guys missed that, I'll post a link to, in the description box of my weekly weigh-in for this week. I did want to say that you guys need to start thinking about tapering off to two meals a day if you were doing three last week, three meals and snacks. Start thinking about cutting back because the deeper that you get in ketosis, the less fat you'll need by mouth. So you wanna be mindful of that. Go into the next couple of weeks, thinking about, okay, I'm gonna have to scale this back and then I'm eventually gonna taper from two meals down to one meal. And that's how I've been doing it so far. And you guys, I feel fantastic. I'm, I'm honestly really looking forward to the next week or so. So like I said, we'll catch back up next week when I show you guys another round of meals. We're gonna have some more cooking videos for you guys this week too. On that note guys, go ahead and leave me a like before you leave. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel, welcome along. And also do not forget to hit the notification bell. That way the next time I upload my new video, you guys will be the first ones to know. All right y'all, you take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot y'all. Go ahead and leave me a comment about what meal was your go-to meal this past week? Did you guys find yourself eating leftovers quite a bit? And is that something that you normally do? I find that's a lot easier than having to cook a whole lot. I normally just don't cook a whole lot. I do like to cook, but guys, we, that's why I make double and triple my recipes because we rely heavily on leftovers. We have no problem eating them and it just makes life so much simpler. So yeah, let me know what you guys do in the comments below.